Hi YouTubers, so today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I haven't done it ever before. <laughs> I haven't done it ever before. I'm going to do a review um, and actually try out some beauty products. I've never done it before, so I'm going to try it out and see how it works. Um, <laughs> <laughs> trying to be a mum and trying to do YouTube videos isn't really helping. Um, okay, so um, today I'm going to try this out called oh, Lux Lash Lift Set. Lux Lash Lift Set. And um, yeah, as you can see, my lashes, they Love my lashes. aren't very. Love my lashes. Well, yeah, they're not very long. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a go of doing those and I'll yeah, show you how Katie I get on. Okay, so let's try that again, shall we? Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, review today Lux Lash Lift Set and it comes, oh no, like this. Got adhesive, applicators, um, you've got perm lotion, fix lotion, nourishing lotion, and then the lash lift curls and pads to put on your eyes. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a go um, and hopefully it will make some difference to these very, very non-existent eyelashes that I have going on now. So today I'm going to be using um, the Lux M12 eye pads, uh, which apparently is, uh, it's not two, sorry, it just means there's two in the pack, M1, which is standard, slightly, uh, slighter curl than with an M. So it's kind of middle. You've got um, S, M, M1, M2, and then L. Um, so M1 is in the middle. So I now have the what happened to your eye? Um, the adhesive. So I have to apply that to the pad. I'm not sure how much I need to put on there. But this is the stuff that's going to get your um, eyelashes to stick to the pad. Um, so I'd imagine you have to put enough down for it to stick, but it says not too much. Put the um, push your lashes down. So. at the same time but this is what I'm using next it's the how do they do it that perm lotion there you go number step one perm lotion so I'm just covering my lashes with that at the moment okay so it's been about 12 minutes now so it says um, remove with a dry cotton swab after processing um, and then after that we apply the fix lotion number two so we have to apply another load of lotion because one load of lotion just isn't enough apparently so the fix lotion is now on so you can see it's blue so um, yeah, it's like a blue kind of um, colour. Try to separate. As much as possible. I'm having to just disappear and use this mirror because if I use the camera, 
I'm going to be all over the place. It also does say to be careful um, not to get it, or if there's any on the tips, to try to get rid of that. So I have been trying to make sure that I just wipe just a little bit away from the tips. I'm guessing because it's maybe a softer on the tips um, and you don't want to fry them. So I guess that might be the reason. Um, but yeah, again, you've got to leave that for another 10 minutes. Okay, so it's now been 10 minutes. I'm going to wipe off all of the product from my eyelashes and hopefully it should be done and we'll see how it looks once it's come out so I need to wipe the whole thing off it says to use a damp um, pad so let me just grab one of those Now I've got to try to remove the pad. Oh. It is removed. Oh. Well, if you look at the two together, definitely looks like there's more going on. I think actually my eye is just naturally, it's my eye naturally just like droopy right here how have I never noticed that before okay weird and then I've got to brush the lashes hello little pudding okay so we're going to finish off with uh, the last thing which is nourish lotion yeah <laughs> so step three uh, or step number three of the lotions or the third lotion you should put on should I say um, is this nourishing and apparently that's meant to revitalize your lashes mm -hmm. so we'll see how that goes if I can actually open this up my fingers are a little bit slippy Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, what do I do? How do I put this on? Cotton swab. <laughs> I haven't got one of those. I'm just going to have to use a cotton pad. I probably should have looked at all the stuff that I needed to... It smells buy. nice. It smells nice. What's it smell of, do you think? It reminds me of, like, perming stuff. Like when we used to perm. What's perm? Um, perms. Perms are a throwback from the 80s. Um, although I have seen a lot of perms coming back. They should be kind of banned, I think. Uh, perms is when people go into the salon yeah. or wherever and then they get their hair really, really, really curly. Wow. Yeah, like spiral. They used to get these things and put them in and then put all this lotion all over it to fix it. And it used to be... Lovely. I do have your hair. So there we go. So there's my finished product, pretty much. And I've got to say, that's a success, considering the fact that, um, you know, I don't think I, I did it 100% right, and I, I think I could have probably spent more time in separating the lashes before actually putting them on the pad or putting them on. Um, I think that worked out pretty well. Yeah. <sighs> so all I'm gonna do now is do I number two. <laughs> okay. So there's a step that I actually missed last time, and that was when you meant to put your lashes onto this thing. You meant to use this kind, of, this little tool, which is a lash comb, um, and it actually helps you to push the lashes on before I use the applicators. But this actually helps you to spread the lashes properly 
I can't again I can't do it and look at that I have to like look at the thing that I have here but yeah you meant to use that to push the lashes on the pad and I didn't do that so and also again looks like that's coming off the outer edge do you know I might actually have these pads on the wrong way around I might actually have this one might have been that one and that one must have, might have been that one I don't know if there's any difference really who knows and ta-da I've all finished all done um, they both definitely look a lot better than they did they've got a lot more volume um, they curl more they look more spread out um, so yeah it all worked and you've got to use this little comb that they give you afterwards to um, just constantly uh, I say constantly just keep on brushing them out and I think it's worked pretty well so in all I think I'm going to give this product about 8 out of 10 um, would I buy it again um, probably yeah I would and I'd pay a little bit more attention to the things that I'm meant to be using and I'd be a little bit uh, maybe a little bit more precise with the way that I'm putting the lashes on as well but I'm actually really really pleased with it and I'm really glad that I bought them so yeah uh, thumbs up uh, now if you like these kind of videos please let me know because I said this is something completely different for me I've never done any kind of beauty video ever um, this might be the start of something wonderful I don't know so please like give me a comment and if you're not already subscribed please do thank you bye and don't subscribe to the Sister Davis